<laughs> Perfect timing, Shorty. You hear people. I know you hear people. It's okay. Does he hear skateboarders? Him little bat ears. Go up and down. Shorty, Shorty. wacky tip. Wacky tip. Shorty, do you hear them skateboarders? Back in the dizzy, when I was a skateboarding fiend out on the streets, just, just tearing it up, I had a lot of dogs barking at me. And a lot of uh, elderly folks shaking their fists at me. Yeah. And a lot of times the police were messing with us too. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I feel like there's more places around here now, like there's skate parks and there was nothing like that. Check it out. Y'all know the Facebook comment section of your local news Facebook page. It's the worst. All right, you got all these old ladies, you know, revelations is happening in the the rapture is about to take place for the biblical Bible thumping folks, and then you've got everybody's opinion in the world who has no idea that nobody cares, right? That used to not happen on the internet. These people life. used to do this from their porch, yeah. okay? They would watch or through just peering through their windows, yeah. like and my then Call the, law. the police or somebody's cousin Leroy you better get over here there's all these little hoodlums across the street doing this and you would have random people come up to you and just like listen boys these skateboards are awful loud now this is a neighborhood it would be God, like 2 o'clock in the day Yeah. and we were skateboarding at the bank or at the library or something and you would think that we were like dropping our pants and dropping a deuce like in the middle of public or something. Because I was taken home in the back of a police car before I was 13 years old for skateboarding. Yeah, no, I knew a couple of uh, kids my age who would skateboard around town. And primarily it was at the bank because they have just like redone their uh, parking lots. It's where the really ATM smooth. machines and stuff were too. They had those like yeah. those like little concrete step Slimes, ups, yeah. you know, where it was like a, a platform yeah. for the ATM machines and stuff. That's great for like nose slides and little grinds and you don't have to ollie very high like you would to get up on a rail. Yeah. It's easier to start out on that kind of stuff. So, of course, that was attractive to skateboarders. So, they put up signs, and then they would call the cops. So, then they started going, like, behind the post office, there was also connected a grocery store. And so, they had, like, a little landing where they would unload the groceries. And uh, they would get up there and try to, you know, jump off and stuff. And the cops were, like, always called. Always. Yeah. And it was in my town, too, which was probably a couple hours away, an hour and a half away. 45 minutes 45 an hour. minutes an hour. They, they, there was nothing to do. So people no. would just be calling the police on us all the time. Like, that was the main attraction. You know, let's disregard the fact that the opioid epidemic was raging at the time. You know, uh, not that it's great now, but then it was, like, really bad. So we could have been doing way worse stuff. And they were complaining about the marks that we were leaving at the bank. It was like, dude, that is somebody's tire mark from pulling up to the eight. There's no way There's a skateboard no way. could do that. No. Yeah, the churches were actually some of the best. My dear friend and uh, pastor to my family, Will, uh, allowed skateboarders to have free reign in the parking lot. That's awesome. If you wanted to do that, that's fine. He just said, please yeah, wear own. helmets and stuff. Like, just be safe as much as you can. Because it was a pretty good little spot. Well, that came back to bite him because... Uh, somebody decided to spray paint something lewd on literally the, the church. The church. Yeah. And uh, of the one church in town that was like, listen, skate, you know, that's all good with us, but just be careful. They decided to tag that, that thing up. Mind you, it was one of the greatest artists in the area who now does tattoos and stuff. And he felt guilty about it and fessed up to it Good. And and worked to fix it during yeah. the summer and everything. Well, that's nice. So it was great and everything turned out good. But skateboarding culture has been a big part of my life. And anybody who really grew up around the, the time that we did, yeah. 
Uh, I mean, it was just everywhere. It was unavoidable. Yeah. DC shoes were huge. It was taking over fashion. Pop punk was huge for the longest time, and, and emo, and kind of hardcore music, and even hip hop has good, you know, roots. Uh, that wasn't as big in our area for that situation, but you know, in urban uh, places like New York City, the underground rap scene and and skateboarding was really well connected. You had all of this going on, and everybody was trying to make as much money off of the situation as they could during the boom periods, which were like the late 70s, early 80s, mid 90s, early 2000s. So, of course, there's going to be terrible media created during this time. About how skate about skateboarding anything like you attach like you would see cartoon characters and they would just be on skateboards you yeah. know it's like oh that's cool yeah so like of course terrible media was created during this time uh and who is the master of showing us terrible media john tron john tron um i'm pretty sure i've seen this when we start watching it I, i'm sure some stuff will remind me that i've seen it i think i watched this with nate and possibly nick um, but this is the skateboard kid by John Tron. You guys ready? Let's go. John Tron. Oh yeah. Or kid. Yeah. Humanity's two longest lasting staples. The child, our legacy as a people, and the skateboard. I think it was made around the 80s or 90s. It's been around since then. So it's time we yeah. finally bring these two worlds Older, but together. Close. That's right. Today we're watching The Skateboard Kid, the film with oh, the famous tagline, Why Take That's the right. Road? When you can fly. Yeah, this film was made in 1993 and dunk. features the voice of the late Dom DeLuise, who was the voice of such characters as Jeremy from Secret yeah, of Yeah, he was great. Todd from Spaceballs. I don't know who In this flick, he voices a character named You do, Rick, but you so don't. I guess they were just trying to drive the point home. All right, let's quit wasting time and watch this, baby. You've definitely heard his voice. Dang. Matt Skip. That's one flashy intro. I can't wait for what's to follow. The Skateboard Kid, here we go. <laughs> Featuring songs by the Trash Kittens. What is that, like a kitten you found in the trash? Either way, great I band I can see Launch guys. doing that. If he could, hmm, it was. Is that so? Yes, it does appear the back of that skateboard says power. Why though? Why is this the first shot of the movie? Oh, that's what I'm talking about right there. I remember when I rented out my local laser tag for the night of my birthday. Okay, Max. Let's rip. I'm a pretty cool dude. And that's just the facts. <laughs> so what, oh did they God. have some sort of coordinated plan here besides just skateboarding around? He looked like he had something really serious planned. Also, skateboarding inside all slowly like that is just, well, it's impractical at best, and it just makes you look silly. Chicken wings, get your wings. Come and get a tasty little chicken wings. Okay, so their master plan was just, I guess, to mess with this guy who literally just stands there and says the words chicken wings over and over. I mean, they Probably must have sucks. planned it in advance because this kid hooks up the police car like he knows the police is going to chase them. Why don't they just pick another target? You know, like, out of the cop's line of sight? Hey! How you living, chicken boy? Well, first of all, that it's to do some work. <laughs> Second of all, the pain and humiliation I feel Yeah, I remember this. For someone like you to cut someone like me deeper, well, <laughs> you must have problems yourself, buddy, so I feel bad for you. And how fucking dare you say that to me? I'm gonna make oh you my God. regret those goddamn words! So interspersed throughout the movie are these strange shots of skateboard tricks. Like all these shots they coordinated with the airplanes. I'm assuming they just rolled up to LAX and did this before the security showed up. I mean, half the tricks they do aren't even that impressive. They're just jumping around like idiots. What's this song trying to say? Skateboarder? Or perhaps this is a tribute song to the life and times of a man named Scott Border. 
Mr. Border is going to really appreciate this. I just feel it. It's going to be great, Mill Creek. New life, clean air, wholesome small town values. Almost hitting a young boy Jeez. nonchalantly and pretending it didn't happen. I feel like in the real shot, that was just as dangerous as it looked. Yeah. That did look very yeah. dangerous. Yeah, whatever you say, Dad. Never mind this gaggle of skateboarders that for some reason are ne now following our car. Uh, Dad? How slow are you guys going that these kids can just roll up to your car window? Yeah, for real. Dad! Oh my god. I guess you really shouldn't have been wearing that chicken mask while skateboarding. What the f- You killed him. <laughs> well, why'd he cross the road like that? Get to the other side, you Barney. Yeah, check out this stupid picture oh. in your face. Also, <laughs> our friend is actually dead. Oh god, it's those post-mortem spasms. <laughs> Very funny, guys. Oh, you were never dead at all. That was just a trick. A dirty trick by some dirty boys. <laughs> Then you're not laughing, dudes. I was, but then you took your mask off. Those well, you gentlemen uh, know where Mill Creek is, do you? Mill Creek? Mm -hmm. I've never heard of Mill Creek. Have you ever heard of Mill Creek? Something oh, tells me no. no. Too much about Mill Creek. There is a Mill Creek. You know, it's back that way. Really? You know, right. Forty miles down that way. Then you make a right. <laughs> So was that a There's literally a sign answer? that says Mill Creek I'm not like sure how right to take there. That. Oh really? Yes. Yeah. Oh no, there it is. It really is back that okay, way. That. So why was his answer so weird and then he Like runs it's away. right behind him. Thanks I mean, for the directions, dude. <laughs> Excuse me, do you know how to get to 50th Street Station from here? Uh yeah, you go down 10 blocks that way. Make a right. You can't miss it. <laughs> Are you with him? <laughs> Mom used to always say, Yeah, sometimes the thing you're looking for is staring you right in the face. Well, Mom sure used to say a lot of things that hold very little relevance to most situations. <laughs> I'm telling you, I got a good feeling about well. this place. You'll see. You're gonna love this town. Uh oh, you, oh, you think, Val? You, uh, whatever. You won't be needing that anyway. Mm. They didn't even notice? Oh, hey, buddy, listen, Grandma don't need no help. She's about to get out there, start tearing up some asphalt. Just clear the way. Bye-bye. Shit. So now we meet this character, Dan, the usual sleazy car salesman type. Oh, Earl, I <laughs> love this car. <laughs> Seriously, he's not even doing it that well. This is like what I do at home when I think no one's watching and I'm pretending to be cool. Ah. <laughs> 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 91 degrees here in, uh, in, in Mill Creek. Wow. Well, you're just a real waste of fucking human life, aren't you? <laughs> Come on in back. No. Come on. Not the so next, we cut to the kids from earlier messing with a neighborhood girl. The back, brain. Have a heart attack, squirt. <laughs> oh. Shut up! Ugly. Snake. Oh, Snake did not expect that. You startled him. He's like, oh my god, I'm sorry. Oh, Christ! So I guess the implication <laughs> is that the father is doing poorly at his new job, so he was sent to direct a commercial? But isn't that like an upgrade? I don't know. Hey, Dad. Oh, that doesn't oh, make sense. Damn. What is it, Zach? Dad, I need a loan. I know this is kind of short. I said not now, Zach. Hmm. No, you didn't. Zach. 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 Oh, Christ! And action. Howdy. I'm Big Dan Tanner. Now you all probably remember my great granddaddy, Dirty Dan Tanner, once uh, committed armed robbery. Well, that's a shame. Sorry. <laughs> so, since our hero was framed by the bully, as seen here, everyone on set hates him. Especially this guy. Holy shit, he punched his skateboard. Fucking hell. I forgot about really that. I'm really angry to get that level of punch. I'm mad. <laughs> but just in the nick of time, he's saved by a kind soul who gives him a lemonade and a pat on the back, welcoming him to the new town. Two. Listen, lady, I haven't got all day. I'm coming. Ah, what a nice lady. Seems like she's having a bit of a domestic with her spouse. Get beats are all alike. Please, I'll find it. Wait, what? 
She's just screaming at a random electrician as if it were a family member, and she just left him in there to give some kid lemonade. Apparently, she has some sort of issue with her electricity, like she hasn't paid for it or something like that. That's not my concern. Wait, what? What are you doing over there, Zach? No, no, not wait one minute. I gotta know what you're doing right now! No, I'm serious. Did, did, you, did you break something? Did you do something illegal? Who are you? It's not even obvious to the audience what's going on here. How exactly has this kid, Zach, figured out how to fix her anomalous electricity situation the moment he met her? Oh my god, lady, he's drinking your fish! Oh, you're just fine with him drinking your pet fish, and that's funny to you! That's a joke! No reaction! Also, this was, what, part of the plan? You, you did that first? Y you went and first thing, you put her pet fish in the drink first of all, assuming that she would be okay with her pet fish dying and that he would drink this at all and not see the fish. And also, when you broke the glass with the rock, how did you replace the glass? Were you carrying an extra glass with you to put on there? Sometimes, what? the thing you're looking for is staring you right in the face. Oh my god. Oh my god. She's my new mom. Are you my ghost mom? <laughs> Now, what can I do for you? Huh? Excuse me, what did you just say? Well, I'm not gonna let my hero get out of a place like this without a reward. Cut it! Cut it quick! Cut the film! This is getting too weird! Uh... Also, it's extra strange because she just said the thing his mom said! <laughs> so, since Zack's skateboard has been broken by way of being delicately punched in actual half, she decides to give him another one she has just lying half. around. Huh? Oh, what you have some decency blow the other way maybe <laughs> the hell what's that supposed to be excuse me oh oh sorry <laughs> about that what's that supposed to be this is crack this <laughs> belonged to the amazing oh my gosh so then, like, immediately after this scene, there's a montage of him cutting up a bunch of shit and putting it on the skateboard. Why? What prompted this? I mean, shouldn't there be a few scenes where the kids make fun of it first or something to give him a reason to work on it? Like, I don't know, if one of them said, Wow, that skateboard looks pretty stupid objectively. It looks like some sort of clown board. <laughs> and then Zack was like, I'll show you. I'll make the best skateboard of all time, and then I'll kill all of you and hide the bodies. I mean, wait, not that last part. Like, he literally even just goes and slaps a motor to this thing wait, out of nowhere what? for no reason. And it's not like it was established that Zack was some sort of whiz kid or anything like that. He's just a normal kid. I mean, we're talking about the guy who has a hat that says wow on it, okay? Rummage time! You know what? I don't need to know about rummage time. So, Zack takes his new skateboard out for a test run when he runs into trouble with a neighborhood gang. Then, all of a sudden... <laughs> Zack, Booby, it's your turn to attack! <laughs> What does a man do when halfway through a movie, a skateboard begins to speak? What does a man do then? Don't sweat it. These guys are bodies. So finally, now we know what Dom DeLuise had to do with this monstrosity. You didn't have to do it, Dom! Who forced you? Did you need a paycheck? Don't get me started! What is this, Tyler? I don't know. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. So now, as if the movie wasn't confusing enough before, we got a wisecracking skateboard from Brooklyn babbling half-assedly like he took too many Percocet this morning. It doesn't even make any it sense! It doesn't make any right, at sense. At least Snake's got the right idea, though. Get back <laughs> to Taco, watch the fireworks, huh? It's a burger. Yes, yeah, not, not a taco. You know, if like one guy here had a car, this would all be fine. What, you're just gonna stop chasing your target now? This guy gets a little oil on him, you're all in hysterics? What are you, actual babies? So, back at the house, Zach talks to his skateboard. Hello? Rip? Good night, Rip. Hey. Oh my god, what happened? <laughs> Don't speak over me like that, pal, you scared me. Hey, Rip, Zach. This isn't really happening. Believe it! That'll be a bit hard on account of everything about this. Do you understand what I'm saying? Of course I do. I wasn't assembled yesterday. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, I wait, mean, you know, literally. Actually, yeah, I think you were, though. Hell, I think you might have been assembled today. Grab yeah. on! The sky's the... Ugh, 
I don't wanna. It's weird and creepy. This little thing. It's like the main thing he uses to move stuff around. <laughs> Did they just use whatever they had in the garage when they were designing this? Yes. Way cool. Wow. This magical skateboard is mildly impressive. So, as expected, the skateboard and the boy become friends in a story as classic as the Jungle Book. <laughs> and also, as expected, the dad is now a clown. None of this. None of this adds up. I'm ready to roll. I'm full of spunk and full of dough. That's precisely the problem, sentient skateboard. Why don't you go home until your mother she wants you? Hey, no, wait. My ball bearings are just loosening up. Oh, yeah. No chance she's leaving, Zach. Sorry. Skateboardo likes some young. Nobody asked you to stick your nose into my business. It is my business. My mom's the one who gave them to you. Maggie's your mother? Well, they ran the <laughs> tests, and it looks like Jenny is going to need the surgery sometime next year. I swear to God, movies always do this if the screenwriter doesn't know how to manufacture meaningful drama. It always comes back to mom's dead, my dad died, she needs surgery, my papa is a clown. So just a quick sum up, the used car salesman has a lot of money and tries to woo the mother of this girl into marrying him because if she does, all her mortgage and medical bills will be magically taken care of. She resists, of course, because he's this guy. Look at Frankie boy, your fate is sealed tonight. He barely even made his target with that throw. Is it just mandatory to do things in a way evolution did not account for to be a cool skateboarder from the 90s? Yeah, that's a smart boy. Just jam all that metal in there. See what happens, huh? See what oh, comes out. Oh, no. Well, the dad comes home with the clown hair glued to his head. Another tragic scene ensues where Zack tries to remove it and things get real for a second. Take it off. Zack! Oh, no. It's your problem. Unbeknownst to Clown Man Boy, Zack is invited over the mother and daughter, making the clown hair situation extra oh, hilarious, if you know what I'm talking about. No. Can I take your coats or anything? Oh, now I what? feel for the guy here. Uh, that's the worst. You just want to hang up somebody's coat in your closet. <laughs> couch falls out. I mean, it makes you look like an asshole. What the f embarrasses them for standing there watching that monstrosity. One time, uh, I was trying to hang up a lady's coat. A uh, couch fell out of my closet. Couldn't look her in the eye for a year. That meal was really good, but all of a sudden, I don't feel like good. Oh, God, what is going on in here? Oh, stop. <laughs> Come on, quit that. Quit it. <laughs> I said stop, you're freaking me out now. <laughs> help you? What? It looks like you're the one that needs the help, Tyler. So yeah, now Team Cowboy Douchebag has figured out that Team Clown Boy Good Guys are trying to steal the girls away from them with the lady hiding over here in the corner like some sort of abused housewife. And now, the rivalry between them is real. Okay, Bill, what can I do for you? It's about your mortgage. Radical! I just co-signed that damn loan. So Dan the Cowboy finally convinces Maggie to marry him in order for her to pay off her mortgage and save her daughter. Jenny what? is reasonably upset at hearing this news, so the skateboard tells her jokes to make her happy. Flattery will get you everywhere. I couldn't agree more. It was like... It was like closing the greatest deal of my life, Earl. Well, I don't get why you gotta marry her now that you're holding her mortgage anyway. I don't have even the slightest clue what you could have said there. And besides, <laughs> we'll get great granddaddy's treasure back. You'll get your great grandfather's great treasure back? So this was about treasure the whole time? You waited 47 minutes for this shit? Wait, why'd you have to marry her for it then? Yeah, that's It's in a, your family. See how What's that... she got to do with it? Does she even know about it? What's the talking skateboard for? Uh, who's, the, who's the talking skateboard is? Great granddaddy left behind just so us later tanners would know. So wait, you, you have the map to the treasure as well? Buddy, you're, you're all set. <laughs> oh, I got scared. It's a scarecrow. Figures. Scud. That's good shit right there. I'm gonna need every last drop of this. So blah, 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 more pointless conflict, more skateboarders, and long story short, we're here at the wedding while Jenny hates her life. And this woman in holy marriage. I gotta show you something. Uh, hi, darling. Where, what do you got there? You know what it is, Chia Head. Do you, Maggie, Chia. take Dan to be your lawfully wedded husband? Awfully wedded, you mean. <laughs> it's a treasure map to Ancestor's Fortune, and he's only marrying you to get it. What? Is that true, Dan? Wait, what? Is that... Is you not just marry me for my ancestor's treasure, Dan? Is that true? It's not about love, it's about just coordinates to treasure? 
Do you, Maggie, take Dan to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do not. Oh! Oh! Have you all gone insane? Go get him. But why why do you have to marry her for the treasure? They yeah. didn't explain it. Why didn't he just use the map? What does the treasure have to do with marriage? Oh, oh my god. He can fly now. I forgot about this <laughs> too. <laughs> Thank you so much for flying here. <laughs> I just don't even why? Oh, the skateboard broke and died. That's unfortunate. Oh, his hat really says mom upside down. That's unfortunate. Oh, I watched this whole fucking thing. That's unfortunate. I guess you could say it was staring him right in the face the whole time. Or at least oh, it was staring other people in the God. face, but mainly if they were looking at it upside down in a mirror. Uncle Zach, you really are my hero. <laughs> it's a genetic. <laughs> Wow, what a great film. And now, in honor of the true skateboard boy, I present you with this homage. Oh my god. Oh my god. You know, this is a drama. Oh, my God, are you fucking kidding me? Wow, that's really fucked up. I wish you never said that. Please never speak to me again. All right, I'm out. This is probably the weirdest one. This is this is the one that makes the least sense. We have done mostly video game ones. Yeah. We haven't done that many movie Ice ones. Cool or whatever it was called. Yeah, just wait until we get into some of the other movie we've ones. We've done a few movies. I mean, yeah, but we I don't even think we've done like the worst ones yet. This is up there, the cat one. Yeah, I haven't seen the cat oh, one. Oh, dude, the cat one I know that a few people so... have asked. Um, no, we watched that one weird one with the birds. Yes, that, that was... That one was weird. That's probably the worst movie. I don't know. This one was the... Th this didn't make any sense. Yeah, the but story the... story just sucked. But it was still like a budget film for its time. It wasn't made on a literal fucking camcorder by someone who right i mean that bird movie was just it was dog trash, shit in every but regard at least it tried to follow like the birds like it tried no nikki no you're <laughs> misremembering yeah up. you're giving it far too much credit oh. i mean as dumb and as much of an atrocity of film as this was the bird one is way worse. I don't know. This one was oh, really bad. This one was really bad. It's like every time it starts to kind of make sense, it just takes another turn. It's like, what? I don't remember when it made sense at all. No, it's just like, oh, yeah, no, I'm trying. I'm trying. And what was the plot of the bird one? Do you remember? The birds were out to get the people and the people were trying to get away from them. But do you not remember them going to some scientist that was yeah, stupid? Yeah, that and makes like, sense. But a lot. Oh, all right. We'll just have Look, to rewatch it in our we, own time. No, I'm not saying it was good. But if you had a bunch of birds coming after you, would you not go to a scientist being like, I don't yeah, know Yeah, but what that's, the that's, the, that's the plot of the movie Birds. I know. I'm Birdemic least... was completely different. It well, wasn't the, just this a, a talking skateboard that eventually flies that makes him. Not, not, I am not but, trying to say that this is a well tied together story. I'm just saying that you're underplaying this. Birdemic and way, was bad. You're giving way too much credit this to Birdemic. Was worse. 
I don't know. We'll have to agree Let to disagree on that. Let us know what you think in the comments. Please. Um, <laughs> yeah, I just don't understand why they didn't. I mean, if they would have introduced the talking skateboard earlier and with some kind of like no, like he made the talking skateboard too like it yeah wasn't like if he found it, he it or like like the old trope of like maybe it was left behind by aliens or something you know or like, like like instead of this lady being like here here's the skateboard like if he went to like this toy store that was kind of like old and abandoned and then he like you know shimmied it out of some stuff that had been yeah. there forever or maybe like okay. the mogwai situation yeah. I mean, anything would be better than, oh, here's this skateboard, and now I'm going to glue shit to it, and then now it talks and can fly. What? What? I don't know. I'll bet you could find something like that on Wish or AliExpress. I almost guarantee it. You're probably right. I've just here recently been overwhelmed by the mass amount of, like, retro gaming gear you can get on there like adapters for old I'm school sure. consoles so maybe they have a talking talking uh, talking flying, flying skateboard. skateboard that you can buy for you know a hundred dollars you just have to wait four months for it to show up i don't know who knows this was crazy this was crazy and uh i would have never ever known about this without no john tron making a video about it which is very unique to him I find videos made of everything I'm like, dude, I would love to make a video about this. And I look it up and there's like 20, you know, 20 videos already made. yeah, like people have already done it, but you look up shit that he's done. A lot of this stuff, you can't find anybody else who's touched no, it it's until very he does. Obscure, very weird. And it's not things that see like whenever you want to make stuff, you're like, I love this. I want to yes. make a video about it. This is all stuff that just is either really bad or poorly done mm -hmm. or just doesn't make sense yes so very cool so give john tron some love if you by chance haven't somehow ever watched a video of his before now you should definitely go to his mm -hmm. channel you should check it out he's got plenty of great content on there and you will probably enjoy it if you like this if you enjoyed our reaction to this you could subscribe to our channel like our video well, you could even give us video recommendations. Yeah, you can do that in the comments below or on our Discord. We're going to have a link to that in the description as well as John Tron's original video. And we live stream every Monday and Thursday evening at 6.30 Eastern Standard Time on YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook. And you can find links to that in the description as well. We appreciate you watching this video and uh, we look forward to seeing you in the future. See you guys.